Welcome back. In this video we're going to do our bottom color and we're going to do our side color here and when we do this we're going to learn a little bit about adding to and subtracting from selections. Now a lot of new painters again are turned off by the vast amount of layers that they have and they fall into very 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 bad habits of merging layers. And what a, a merge is, is when you take two layers, like say this stab hinge and stab rubber, or all of them, and you merge them into one layer. And that may seem like a good idea at times, but I'm telling you right now, it's not a good idea. It's a terrible idea, and there's not a single painter out there that does it that has not regretted doing it. That I can say with pure certainty. Okay, so... I'm not going to teach much about merging right now. I will cover it a little later because there are times to where you, you're fine to merge. And there are most times when you really don't want to. Like this stripe, for instance. The last thing in the world I want to do is merge the dark portion of that stripe to my green portion of that stripe. That, that would be just... Ugh, I can't even fathom that. That would be terrible. So... Let's go ahead and let's learn a little bit about adding to and subtracting from. I'm going to create a new image real quick and I'm going to just leave it at that. The background color is going to be blue and here we are. I'm going to zoom into 100%. Change my colors here. Actually, that doesn't really matter right now. One thing that you can do in Photoshop and that is you can toggle between your different selection tools as you're creating a selection. So I can draw a box right here, holding shift to keep it square. And now I can add or subtract to this selection. As we've seen before, as we move into our selection, our crosshair changes saying that we could move this selection around. Um, if we were to click by accident here, we just deselected that selection. I'll draw that again. Or you can hit Control Z and get it back. Now I want to add to this selection, and in order to add to the selection, all I need to do is press shift. And you notice that little plus appears next to my cross here. So now I can go ahead and start within this selection and draw another like box. I could switch tools here, and I can go ahead and draw a circle by pressing shift and dragging that circle into my square and letting go and that now adds to that selection so now it's one big selection. I can go ahead and subtract from this selection by pressing alt and you get that minus key and or minus icon and I can go ahead and leave it there and now let's switch back to our square our rectangular marquee and I can go ahead and cut some of this out and maybe cut out another portion here and I have no idea what I'm creating here and there we go I could even go ahead and change tools to say my lasso tool which is this one actually is one of my favorite ones it's the polygonal lasso tool and that kind of works like a pen tool without your curves so I can go ahead and say I'm gonna add to the selection put like maybe say a peak on it I can go ahead and click bring out to my next point whoops now here's another thing see how I'm doing this I'm zoomed in too much and I can't get myself back to it I can stop press spacebar get that hand back bring myself back into my selection and here we go I can go ahead and continue my selection get that little peak I want come back to close it off and now I've added to that selection and now when I'm all said and done I can create a new layer and fill that in and there it is. Deselect it. And I have my whatever the hell that is. I have no idea what that is. What is that? A house with a boob on it or something? I have no idea. But you get the point. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get back into our other PSD here and go back into full screen. Now, how do we use that for our benefit? Well, when we go ahead and control click something as we've seen before we can control click say this white base and that's going to draw a selection around it but when we're creating our background or our bottom color I want to have the bottom color of my fuse tied in with the bottom color of this right here which is my actual bottom color 
so I don't want the rest of the fuselage selected. So how do I do that? Well, I can add to and subtract from a selection. So I want to use that exercise into showing you how to do this. So first off, let's get our bottom color where it needs to be. So we want our bottom color below our stripes. So I'm going to click on the fuselage, and I'm going to go ahead and click Add New Layer or Create New Layer. I'm going to call this bottom color. And I spell bottom with an E. No. OK. So now I have the white base selection selected still. But I have my bottom color layer selected. I have my bottom color already here, which is the same as the stripe color. Actually, I'm going to cancel that because I just also got shadow in there and I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and now get this selection how I want it. So the first thing I'm going to do to make it easy on myself is we already have these stripes that we created. Just like we just did with the tools and adding and subtracting from our selection, we could do the same thing down here. Let's say I want to subtract the stripe. So I want to subtract the left stripe from my selection. I can come over to it, press Alt and Control. Now I need to press Control just because of the simple fact that I'm going to be doing making a selection out of whatever I'm mousing over here. So I'm going to press Control for that. But now I want a minus from that selection, so I'm going to press Alt. So once you learn that, once you learn that one simple thing, it may sound confusing now, but just remember Alt subtracts, Shift adds. And Control click always does exactly that. It just, if I Control click my stripe, it's going to make a selection out of that stripe. So if I have the white base selected and I want to subtract that stripe from it, I just come up to its stripe, press Control, and then minus or alt for that minus and then click it and now that subtracts it from that selection okay so now what i want to do is i want to continue that and also subtract my right stripe from it so i'm going to control alt and click that stripe so i want everything in the middle here subtracted from it and once again, you can switch between tools and shortcuts. So I want to do, I want to be able to get right into my nose here and see there. And I want to use this polygonal lasso tool. So I'm going to just press control spacebar and click and get myself down in here, say around, I don't know, 100% probably. Actually, I need more than that. So I'm going to go two, three, four. Now I'm confident that I'm where I want to be. I'm going to press Alt and click out here and now I can go ahead and start my selection in here zoom back out with control minus or whatever you want and just go ahead and as long as I'm clicking anywhere within that selection I know that it's going to be minus out I'm going to zoom out a little bit more make this a lot faster for myself and click there now once you do this, by the way, you can let go of that Alt button that started your minus selection. That polygonal lasso tool will keep that minus next to it as long as you're still doing that particular selection. So I'm going to start to zoom in again. And again, I still have the polygonal lasso tool selected, but I could still press Control Space and get that magnifying glass. It's not going to kill my selection. And continue that. Continue there. And now I want to go into here. And I could still pan around pressing the space bar. A little jittery there. I'm going to zoom out so I can do this much faster. And just to make sure I'm not screwing the pooch, I'm going to go ahead and get right in here to the nose again and make sure I come out cleanly. I'm going to zoom out once more and I can just click anywhere here and finish my selection. And all I did there was double click. And you can see now I've subtracted 
everything else from my selection. Okay? So all of, well not everything else, but everything we just selected using that minus key, I have now taken out of the equation. So I have a nice clean selection of the bottom of my fuselage and I still have these other things selected which I'm going to also go ahead and press alt and get this out of it cuz these right here what we're looking at here that you probably already figured out is these right here are the winglet or yeah the winglet bottom and top areas whoops I just clicked so I'm going to go ahead and redo that or what still needs to be done double click there and that closes that off I have this little bit of whatever that is and I'm just gonna kill that and I have my right flap vein I don't want that selected and I can go ahead and I could try to find where that vein is or again I can just very fast draw something around it and subtract it now I'll do the same for this one here. Press Alt. And there we go. Now I'm going to tell you right now, right off the bat, the bottom color, you're going to get a white stripe along the bottom color. Because this right here is not thick enough. It's just not. So. Let me first continue to kill my selections. And I don't want this selected. And I think that's about it. Let me zoom out here and get a good overall look real quick. All right, everything that we have selected right now is good for my selection for my bottom color. So I'm good to go, and we'll take care of the other problem in a minute. But with the bottom color layer selected, I'm going to go ahead and press Alt Backspace. And there we go. I now have the bottom color of my paint. Now you can see we've only hit this tutorial, what, the actual painting part of it now. This is what, the third part of the uh, tutorial series? And we're already looking like we're just about done. We're not, of course, but I just wanted to point that out. Now one thing you're going to see is when you do things like this and you separate your colors, these things are forever there for you later. So you can come down here to the control uh, color preview thumbnail and you can, let's say we didn't have the selection here, you can always do that again later because you already took the time to draw out your selection, subtract from it, add to it, do whatever you needed. And that is there now forever. And now let me deselect that and let's zoom in here and we can get a better look at our, well now we're zoomed in at an odd number. I'm going to go ahead and right click by holding control. I'm going to press control spacebar to get that magnifying glass. I'm going to right click and choose actual pixels. And that brings me to 100%. And now we can get a better look at our stripes. And so far so good. I'm still liking it. We're not exactly proportionate. Not 100%. Here we do look good around the curve. Here we're looking a little thin on the bottom. And I can go back into the pen tool, select that on my own later, and tweak that a little bit. I'm going to leave it. I like it. I'm going to go to 50% zoom so I can pan over and still keep the clarity of my lines. Again, if you had 66, it's going to look odd. It's going to look a little jaggedy in points. Like, see that? That's because of my odd zoom factor. So I'm going to zoom out to 50 and we don't have that anymore. All right, so far so good. I'm liking it. And that is pretty much enough for that. Now I want to add to my bottom here, just the bottom selection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little shortcut here. I'm going to control click on bottom color. And I am going to zoom out a ways, quite a ways. I'm going to press M for my marquee tool and I'm going to just very sloppily subtract this from my 
selection here. So I've basically subtracted 90% of it here. I still have this line here. And I can go ahead and trim that up a little bit. And same thing here. Now here it's just going to bleed into what's already our bottom color, so we're fine there. But now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into the menu, select, modify, and then expand the selection. And I'm going to say for now, let's say 7 pixels, OK, and take a look at that. And from having painted this already, I can tell you that that's not going to be enough. So I'm going to go ahead back to Select Menu, and I'm going to say Modify, Expand. I'm going to just say two more. That's looking a little bit closer. And that's probably good right there. So now if I zoom in, give that time to recache here. Here's the little bit of a line. I don't know if you could see that, but I want to kill that. So with the bottom color still selected, I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in again. Alt Backspace. Deselect. And I think that's pretty good. And I'm going to put my stamp on that and say you're all set now. Don't worry about it. Okay, now we're going to worry about other things a little later, and there's a reason for that. So just trust me on that, and we are good to go. We have everything all up to speed, and in the next segment, we're going to go right into some really cool things that are going to benefit every painter out there, and that is painting with effects. See you then.